i am going to explain very important part a uh, food web so this food web is actually a uh, related to food chain it is related to food chain so first i am going to define it it is defined as it is defined as the interlinking interlinking or interconnection interlinking or interconnection interlinking or interconnection of different different food chains different food chains when they are connected when they are interlinked then it is called as food web you know web we say web internet world wide web we say www it means world wide web when entire world is connected to a common network we use the internet for our purposes so it is simply called as web also www world wide web so children similarly here in food web also the different food chains are connected different food chains are connected at a specific places and we say uh, at some places uh, you know the producers producers buy eaten by different consumers different primary consumers and the primary consumers they are eaten by you know primary consumers of other time so similarly or secondary consumers so there is interconnection there is interconnection between uh, different food chains and that is called food web see i am uh, drawing here here children there is the grass there is grass trees this is grass grass produces you know seed it produces fruits this is one now the grass and seed i am just a uh, drawing very simplest food chain so rabbit rabbit now rabbit is taken by eagle i know eagle eagle can be eaten up by a or you know lion it can be a uh, here a uh, peacock peacock now peacock can be a uh, eaten by eagle and here the eagle it can be eaten by lion and so there is one this is food chain uh similarly the plants seeds uh they are given up by the small like you know goat 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 or it can be deer it can be given up by the lion now see how they are interconnected children you can uh, connect the different food chains i have drawn three food chains this is producer this is producer these are primary consumers primary consumers these are secondary consumers and these are tertiary now children you know you know this eagle eagle they are different levels they are different levels in a food chain and here you know 
eagle can eat rabbit eagle can eat rabbit you know this similarly you go here the cock can be there you may right crow also so this uh this rabbit can be you know eaten by lion it can it can be eaten by lion so this is the simplest concept similarly goat goat here goat goat can be eaten by the lion so this is one food chain this is other food chain this is third food chain so at different levels peacock here can be eaten by the eagle so this is interconnection this is interlinking how the different food chains are connected and this is nothing but this is called as food web so children this you have to draw and so this ultimately when they die when the lion die when the lion die so ultimately what happens their body remains their body remains they are converted into simpler substances and they provide the nutrition uh, to the uh, producers so similarly you can uh, draw the fishes also fishes you know uh, plants aquatic plants you try them fishes the eat aquatic plants or a small fish is being eaten by larger fish larger fish is eaten by the you know peacock so different food chains different food webs you know uh, it can be drawn and so this is about the uh, food chain and uh, rather it is a complete explanation about the food web and see how uh, different food chains different uh, consumers they are uh, interconnected and this is nothing but this is called as food web now i am going to explain very important part conservation of forest children you know forest are integral part of our life we depend on the forest for lot many things and all the parts are very much essential and we cannot ignore but you know this forest throughout the world it is in the threat and the land coverage land cover with the forest is decreasing year by year due to different points due to a uh, reluctant nature persons countries nations they are reluctant they are reluctant to uh, take care about the forests so in this condition uh, there are certain points and uh, the points are very much important and so first point is preventing over grazing preventing over grazing children you know shepherds the persons who rear sheep goats animals in the forest they are poor persons they are poor peasants so they have their livelihood by means of the fur by the wool by the meat by the milk by the cheese by the paneer of the animals which they rear and actually they have very large you know group of animals and so they cannot feed them at their home so they allow them to graze the animals in the forest and you know animals they are very large quantity friend they will graze they will graze the grasses they will graze the bushes so the care has to be taken by each and every one so that over grazing or excessive eating at a particular place should be prevented and how it is possible it is possible only 
can we shift our herd of sheep or goats from place to place so this will prevent the overgrazing now during the monsoon the seeds which fall down they uh, start growing and so small plants they are also eaten by the goats by the sheep by the animals so all has to be prevented and overgrazing will prevent the damage less population so it minimizes it minimizes the growth it minimizes the growth of plants it minimizes the growth of plants and thus thus the number of plants is reduced number of plants is reduced number of plants is reduced and so when the number of plants is reduced what will happen it will result to uh, this then damage or danger to the uh, forest now second preventing forest fire so children forest fire is caused due to several reasons one of the reason is during the very hot climate during the summers the bushes they dry the trees they are twigs their branches they dry and due to very intense air due to intense air they always try to collide against each other there is always rubbing there is always rubbing and it is continuous process and you know when there is the rubbing of even wood and slowly and slowly so it becomes hot and some sparkles they fall down and so near by grasses they catch fire so this is one point so fire is caused by the rubbing by the you know colliding collision of the branches so this is one aspect other is the persons rather shepherds or the villagers who are greedy the greedy villagers or greedy shepherds they intentionally fire the forest so that all the you know uh, leaves they burn and the new grasses they come up for their next season this is one this is the second point now third point is the persons who are involved in illegal cutting of trees they also uh, allow the fire to break because they want to clear the forest for cutting of the tree so they want to cut the trees and so these are the three points first is by villagers by villagers shepherds shepherds for better grass this is one point then by uh colliding colliding of branches branches in summer i am this listing the regions then by intentional intentional fire by illegal persons for cutting trees so this is the point and so we have to take care so as a result of this government has 
you know, made many action plans and the appointment of forest guards, forest rangers. So forest guards, forest guards and rangers, forest rangers, they have this responsibility. But their number is much less. And so it has to be there. And so more and more forest guards, rangers have to be appointed. And if there is any uh, breaking of fire, so they can be uh, asked to this prevent the fire. And many points are there. There must be awareness among the people so that there should not be any fire. Now, third point is a forest lesson. So children, you know, afforestation is basically afforestation is growing more trees, increasing the population of trees. So this is afforestation. So afforestation is planting more and more trees. It is the planting of more and more trees. This is the best solution. This is the best solution to check, to control the clearing of the plants. If someone is cutting the trees, so equal number of trees, rather more trees have to be planted because trees takes long time to grow slow process and so suitable blood calculation has to be done so we can uh, do like this we can uh, prevent the uh, forest fire we can have this different points and by this step we can conserve we can conserve forests. Forests can be conserved in this way. Then, you know, uh, sustainable development. There should be sustainable development. Sustainable development means the development must be in a planned manner. Development must be in a planned manner, children. And you know, if we are not planning anything, so it is going to be uh, very much dangerous. Sustainable development means you know, we require more and more factories. We require more and more thermal power stations. So naturally, uh, we cannot plant any factory. We cannot start any factory in a village. Naturally, we have to go to some uh, remote places because this causes a lot of pollution, causes a lot of sound, a lot of noise is there. So naturally, we have to shift in the forest or nearby forest. Similarly, many nesties, they are made in the forest. Many colonies are built, many hotels, restaurants, amusement parks are there. So the thing, development should be there, but not at the cost of forest. This is the meaning of development. So development, development must not be, must not be at the cost of forest. Anything should be done in a highly planned, highly scientific manner. And this is the most uh, efficient way 
this is the most suitable way to conserve a forest prevent a forest this is most everyone wants development and particularly in india the conditions horrible why because no persons uh, nobody wants to uh, maintain anything we are going to forest for fun we destroy the trees and so everyone has responsibility everyone has to take care of this that is should be taken into consideration then children next part is conservation conservation of forest forest into reserve reserve forest reserve forest or parks this is new concept conservation of forest into reserve forest or reserve parks in india many are many forests are there they have been initially they were you know open to person so due to cutting many forests they have been converted to you know parks national parks rather national parks were made like children you know there are many parks you know in uttarakhand himachal you know jammu and kashmir many parks are there and i am going to tell one point in this valley of flowers you must remind me valley of flowers you all must knowing valley of flowers valley of flowers is in uh, uh, this uttarakhand it is very close to the badrinath and kedarnath it is very beautiful place whenever you want to go or you have planned you must go there valley of flowers it is very beautiful place very near to hemkund sahib famous gurudwara hemkund sahib so it is famous for brahm kamal also so children a uh, valley of flowers it has you know thousands of flowers and due to indiscriminate rules and regulations the illegal persons the black marketers they taken out the flowers plants and as a result government of india around 20 years back more than 20 years back they declared the valley of flowers as the national park restricted area so only few persons at a time are allowed entire boundaries there only few persons around 30 to 40 persons are allowed to go and time limit is given to them that you have to come to out of the park in this time period so this is the very important point and these are the basic points and so children this is all about the uh, this uh, how we conserve the forest how we can maintain the forest